unbelievably we actually have some sunshine peeking through the clouds probably for about two minutes here where are we are we at Tuesday morning October 15th 2024 uh, and you take a wild guess what I am doing I am going to a mechanic I already have another appointment scheduled with another mechanic tomorrow so I am um, I guess I'm either ready to spend about 300 more dollars uh, on this brake light for hell from hell and I will find out whether I am looking at thousands of dollars of damage that this clueless motherfucker this mobile mechanic ha ha has caused on this truck and it, 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 and the ultimate joke about this shit that went down on Saturday is he never even needed and he admits this uh, that he made a mistake that he never ever had any business uh, sticking his hands inside the fucking differential on this truck uh, to change an axle seal never had to do it and now they went in there and fucked up something called my pinion gear preload or something uh, he, he's telling me Sam uh, it's just loose uh, I will go back in there and adjust your pinion gear preload whatever the fuck that is uh, and, and uh, it will be fine and then uh, we will get your new axle seal and your bearing uh, put on the way he should have fucking done it uh, on Saturday now I didn't have the bearing on Saturday so it wouldn't have happened on Saturday either and, and good fucking God and so you know here I am in this position <laughs> that I, I hire a mechanic to do a job I uh, the the clueless fucking moron goes in there where he never should have been where he had no business going and he fully admits it now that uh, about the mistake and now he's fucked up my differential as you can hear hear that uh, that is the pinion gear preload I have no fucking idea what it is uh, so now what do I do uh, do I do I just say dude you fucked up my car bad enough I, I need to take this goddamn truck to a mechanic with a brain but if I go in there <coughs> now with a with a damaged differential on the truck uh, to a new mechanic to fix the fucking damage that the that the other mechanic calls then he's gonna fucking charge me and, and this guy uh, obviously is his fuck up I, I, I mean he's owning up to it uh, to the extent that he's gonna be able to fix it or do I go back to the fucking moron who caused the problem to go in there and cause more fucking damage to my truck this unbelievable uh, unrelenting nightmare and, and, and the shit with the differential has absolutely nothing to do with getting the fucking brake light off uh, th th this shit cost me five and a half hours uh, uh, of my life on Saturday five and a half hours uh, on that beautiful day that I fucking lost so this motherfucker in, in, in the space of what 20 minutes could go in there 
and, and uh, fuck up uh, my <coughs> my goddamn differential. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, you know, and they were down there uh, uh, on his goddamn back. You know, he had his mobile truck and uh, down there on his fucking back uh, underneath a goddamn truck uh, trying to take apart a differential for for God's sake. And I'm thinking, you know, I'm no fucking mechanic. What the fuck is this dude doing inside my fucking differential? And, if, and, and, and before you fucking mansplainers try to tell me he was in there, Sam, to release this clip, this fucking clip uh, that was holding your axle on uh, so he could release the axle to change the thing, there is no fucking clip uh, in, in, in this uh, axle that I have. There is no fucking clip. If he had run the fucking VIN number uh, of this truck through, uh, he would have seen that he was trying, that, that, that he was fixing the wrong fucking part. And, and so here I am going back to this motherfucking jackass to, you know, now I got to drive to his shop, assuming the fucking truck makes it, got to drive to this motherfucker's shop so he can put it up on the lift and, you know, work in a real shop where the truck's up on a fucking lift, drop the fucking drive shaft, open up the fucking differential again, shine a fucking light in there, to get in there trying to adjust my fucking pinion gear preload or whatever the fuck it is, the stupid motherfucker. Uh, and, 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 and if he's really fucked it up, if he's really fucked it up, I, I know he's, he's going to shrug and say, Sam, uh, th then he's going to try to gaslight me and, 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 and try to claim that the, uh, that the fucking uh, pinion gear preload uh, was fucked up when I first brought it to him. And I wash his fucking hands of it and say there's nothing more I can do to you. Uh, take it to a fucking transmission shop and, and, and spend 2800 fucking dollars uh, getting a new differential in here. Jesus fucking Christ. And, uh, you know, speaking of this goddamn mansplaining... Uh, I, I, I've got to say, uh, I, I, I've got to fucking say that this whole uh, experience over this motherfucking brake light has really been a, 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 uh, an, an unbelievable descent into mansplaining. Uh, you know, it's just like when you uh, are, are going to sell your house uh, or buy, buy, you know, when you're doing something with real estate, everybody is a fucking real estate agent. You know, and, and, and when you're doing something with uh, anything with, with a fucking truck that, and, 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 and I understand that the that most of uh, the the men uh, leaving comments are, are being very helpful. Uh, Nielsen Alhambra, uh, you know, I really appreciate it. Uh, that I, I I understand well. In a in a few cases, uh, they were just just being absolute arrogant, know it all, uh, you, you you know uh, that kind, but. The, by and large, the comments I have received, 100% uh, from men, 100% from men, uh, they're trying to help me out, uh, and, 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 and now I'm sure I will get all sorts of comments about my, my fucked up pinion Pinion gear preload uh, that all these guys are, are going to listen to this video who, who know everything there has ever been to know uh, about a fucking Toyota Tacoma pinion gear preload and, and, and start leaving comments on it. 
Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, how these guys, they have never seen my truck. Never laid eyes on my truck. Never laid eyes on my truck. Yet, uh, they know as well as I do how to go on to YouTube. And where I started was how to get a brake warning light off of your truck. The, you know, the a ABS anti-skid light which brings on the brake light where well, th this started i think it was september 25th it's now october 15th a a and uh, all of these guys uh they, they they watch a fucking youtube video thinking that uh someone with fucking five years of college and a 148 iq has not already watched the fucking YouTube videos that they're sending me links to. Like, gee, uh, Hambone with his five years of college, uh, his 148 IQ, and his two YouTube channels never thought of going on fucking YouTube and, 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 and plugging in how to get rid of an ABS anti-skid light. Uh, they, they, like, like, I never, gee, I never thought of that. Uh, but but the, the, this whole thing with, with mansplaining and uh, <clears throat> good fucking god, I I it, it, and uh, it's not. I think women think they're the only people who get mansplained to by men. It it, it makes no difference what, whether you're a man or a woman. If it's anything to do uh, with auto mechanics, anything to do, it makes no difference if you're a woman or a man. You're going to have 50 fucking men out there uh, who have never laid eyes on your vehicle uh, act like they know more about it. Uh, than you do when you've been driving your fucking car for five fucking years. Uh, th 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 this goddamn mansplaining. You know, whether it's car mechanics, whether it's carpentry, uh, plumbing, electricity, uh, whatever. Uh, it, we know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, I love, there's a there, there's this group uh, here in Eugene of, of, of these women builders. They're called the Trip Hammers. I mean, anyway, it's this group of female contractors, and they and they teach classes and all of this stuff, and carpentry, electricity, plumbing, and all of this, and. Uh, so I remember uh, a couple of years ago, so I went to sign up for their classes and was politely told, sorry, dude, you are not, we, you, we, you are not allowed to even take a class from us because you have a dick you are not allowed to take classes here uh, that we only accept female students here and, and I laughed and, uh, and and the reason was uh, you know that th this fucking mansplaining that they would be uh, you know trying to uh, teach their class on whatever uh, whatever the class was that day and, and the fucking students the the male students who were taking the classes from these professional contractors these professional trained female contractors would start arguing uh, <coughs> with the with the teachers uh, you know arguing with them uh, telling the fucking teacher that they were paying to teach them that they didn't know what the fuck they were talking about 
and it was you know and it was very and finally uh, they just had to make a rule that uh, you know that that men cannot they they are literally literally unable to not act like they know more about something than than, than a woman uh, teaching a class in a subject uh, that they are at least qualified enough to be teaching classes on. And, and I don't fucking blame them uh, after what I've been through. Uh, anyway, I am back at... Uh, Look, look, look at this jackass. Uh, so, uh, d d doesn't this, uh, d don't you love driving into a mechanic shop and seeing, uh, and seeing 30 broken down vehicles in his shop? This is his mobile uh, mechanics truck. Anyway, I have to go get mansplained and get this fucker to uh, fix the fucking damage he caused. Wish me luck. Bye, guys.